Scene. Welcome to Behind the Scene. I'm Goldie, your West Coast host. Got my partner on the other side of the camera, DJ Hard, Sweet Fork, Louisiana. I want to give a shout out to all my fam in Detroit. What's up, Detroit? Also, San Antonio. What's up, San Antonio? And all my fam here in the city with me and you know we're here to present uh, uh, a dynamic show you know what i'm saying <laughs> our topic is actually uh we're dealing with money and black lives matter and respect yeah that's what we, you know what i'm saying we that's that's what we shoot for our respect because once a man got his respect the man is on in the game what's up with it dj Oh, man, I've been uh, researching the topic, man. <laughs> Came across some new information on the 1619 Project uh, with Nicole Hannah-Jones, the creator of the New York Times 1619 Project. <laughs> and, and I'm- 1619 Project. Yeah, man, you know, it, it, all right. When they released this, it co coincided with the 400th anniversary of the first slaves coming to America. Uh, and let's see, where was that? At? Did well, you say the 400 first slaves four, coming yeah, to America? Yeah, after four, they, when they did this story, it was like to commemorate the 400 year anniversary of the first slaves coming to the colonies, and I think I think it was Virginia, Virginia colony. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Let me see if I got verification on that. Uh, Sixteen nineteen project that yeah. ties right in with reparations, HR forty. See, we go see because all right, I've been studying the music business, and and I'm finding out that you got to pay for advertising. Man, we got fans all over the place. All right. So, and, and, you know, in America, man, we got, I, I know we got fans on the West Coast, we got fans right here in Louisiana, fans, you know, all over the place, man. So, so they should be thinking about the tough times that we're going through, all these businesses who are closing down and, they should respect the person regardless of color if he's trying to conduct business and contribute to the society in, in, in a meaningful way. All right, but today I want to give a shout out to Daryl Smith. Uh, he's coming up with a program talk, talking about put the guns down. And I wanted to bring him up because I want him to listen to my cut, man. Stop the violence, you know, see, see where he comes from. We understand how things should be, and we that's what we got to do through our race of people coming together and uniting, you know, someone says, so we can put our the power of our minds and our thoughts and beliefs together as a whole, you know, and in order for us to get, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, the government, you know what I'm saying, to recognize and to give us that respect, man, that we do from our blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors. And we're just as important today, just as they was, you know what I'm saying, back in their time on earth. When I think of Thanksgiving, I think about them Indians almost being gone, man. I'm telling you, man, I, I, you know, I, I like the food and everything else, but man, I'll be, I'll be happy. Man, I don't even think about no damn yeah. holidays, man. Yeah. All of them, them, holi them, them holidays is not our holidays, man. All that's fake, fictitious, you know what I'm saying? Existence, man, that belongs to somebody else, man. 
Welcome to Behind the Scenes. Welcome. We're back. Behind the Scenes, episode 15. The topic we're dealing with today is money and Black Lives Matter and respect. So, yeah, we was just kind of kicking it around over our little break time, but... What's up with it, DJ? Oh man, I just want to tell you, man, I'm I'm really excited about you know my fans and the influencers who are writing me and telling me different things. One wrote me today asking me when I'm gonna do a music video, and okay. I would have to say I've been kind of slow about trying to put them out, but I already started on on different types. All right, because uh, one type is like I want to be showing. Sure part of the work that I did on, on the song, like, you know, while I was working in the down. Okay, so yeah, yeah so I, I use Studio One, the M MPC uh, program, um, and give me the main ones. <laughs> well, good. If it works for you, that's good. Uh, you know, that's what you want. That's part of getting the information and the knowledge of the business and also letting you know that it don't like i said don't just stop right there with the art the artist being able to entertain you know what i'm saying not when it comes down to getting that money not when you got people behind you you got people fronting you you know what i'm saying it's it's a whole different it's a whole different ball game so <clears throat> well uh, you know so, i, I want to give a big shout out to my number one music fans all right because i'm telling you the the interaction we we didn't have a lot of interaction they you know they writing me they you know sharing my music and all of that stuff and and, and i can respect that but i really appreciate all of you playing my music. I, I want to say that, I can't say it enough. I'm telling you, because that's the world of me, you know, when people are playing my music, man. I'm telling you, man, that's what's okay. happening. I'm gonna try to make some some songs. I'm gonna make some instrumental songs. I, I'm working on my next album already. I done finished uh, three, three of the beats halfway, right? You know, that's my goal in the year because I want some of this covert stuff to be out so I can actually, you know, move around a little more freely. You know, when, when this uh, covert 19 virus get under control a little bit, you know, so, uh, you know, I'm expecting that. And there you go, man, talking about something covert 19 getting under control. This yeah. is we coming into winter time now, bro. You better try to hope you some everybody better, you know, said to hope they survive through this winter because that's when the out and they talking about a second outbreak, man. You know what I'm saying? This this stuff is more devastating, you know, some said than you think, man. Well, I'm doing the best you I can. See what your press <laughs> you see what the president Donald Trump done did, you know what I'm saying? He now nah, all this shit, that's what they say. When Malcolm said a chicken come home to roost, that's a perfect example of today of the chickens coming home to roost. You made yourself a victim. Use a vic now, bro. You know what I'm saying? A COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, man, look here. I so, just, hey, man. Hey, uh, hey, you know, hey, we hey, done went over our 15 I'm telling, minutes again. I'm telling <laughs> Donald Trump, man, what that nigga need to do is drink him some of that. What was he talking about? That bleach? Drink you some bleach, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, drink you some bleach. Yeah. What we really got to do is, is we got to be creative. You know what I'm saying? We got to, we got to look at, we got to look at what's going on, man, in a serious, a real way, bro. We, you can't, you know, we can't sit up and hope that COVID-19 is just going to go away. It's not going to happen. So therefore, what we have to do, just like what we're doing now, you know what I'm saying? We we projecting, you know what I'm saying, film work, you know what I'm saying, right there in, in you know what I'm saying, in our domains, man. And check out this, the new album that I just released not long ago, Money and Black Lives Matter. Yeah. 
Let me tell you, I had to tell them exactly where I'm coming from. Take your foot off my back and let me get down from my stacks. That's where it's at. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I'm going to be at it, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be at it. I mean, you know, I got to get on the grind one way or the other. You know, I'm I'm going to be on the grind and I'm going to encourage it. Every black entrepreneur out there, you know, stay on your grind. I want to say thank you and good night. Money and Black Lives Matter and peace on these streets, please. Oh, yeah, but... You know? Oh, yeah, but before I go, you see I got the, the sleeveless. It's the sleeveless Black Lives Matter t-shirts. I also have, like, the... Uh, we got, like, we got the... The sleeves with the with the color sleeves. Uh, I have these right here in uh, the color blue, green, also red. It will be red and white, green and white, blue and white. I have some, uh, you know, three different colors and stuff. I, today, I said I'm gonna be real comfortable with mine, man. That's I got, I got on a double X, you know, so I got I got That's two nice. different sizes now. I got. Uh -huh. Uh, 1X and double X, you know, so. Yeah. yeah, man. All right, you gotta send me a t-shirt, Goldie. I know, man, I'm gonna get on it, man. I'm gonna definitely get on it. For the audience, y'all leave a comment. You know, if you're interested in getting these t-shirts, right now I'm exploring the business end, and I found out I gotta get a whole bunch of more software and everything, but as soon as I get it together, I want to know if you want want me to try to have your T-shirt shipped to you. You know, house of free ordering and everything. I, that's what I'm working on right now. So y'all, let me know if you want to get this thing because we're trying to build an industry right here in Shreveport, Louisiana, and all the way over there on the West Coast too. You know, so that we're trying to build a franchise, man. <laughs> you feel me? We start off with right like two. that. Start but off I with two. We're going to keep on rolling. No, that's what's up. Peace out. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see, I see I, I got a hard copy now. You can now get the uh, Money and Black Lives Matter on CD. So y'all let me know I got a limited edition CD. All right, y'all let me know about that. You know, I'll see about getting that to you. You know, have some free order and everything like that. Y'all just... You know, put your name on the list and I'll be working it out. All right. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Good night.